Give them a big round of applause. It is difficult to stop a heart that is full of appreciation to show appreciation. Give them another big round of applause. Switching gears now from the students to his family, who he has influenced so much that they themselves have a large heart for charity. We'll begin with the DG of the Rochester Foundation. She will be flanked by her siblings, who will take turns for a few minutes to also make speeches. Please join me in welcoming Director General of the Rochester Foundation, Mrs. Uloma Wosu. She will be flanked by Mrs. Uchu Anwuka, as well as Miss Usi Roaches, Aham Roaches, and Amen Roaches. They will all come out, and in turns, after the DG, they will talk about their father for a few. Can we make the applause befitting of the children, not just proud of their father, but have taken in the great steps and strides of their father? Thank you. Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibanjo. It's an honor to have you um, come here to celebrate with us our father, and we do not in any way take that for granted. And plus, it's a great honor just sitting right beside you, sir. Thank you so much for coming, and you are an inspiration to a lot of us young women and young men. Thank you so much for coming. My daddy, it's your Ada. Daddy, I love you so much. <laughs> Words cannot describe the way I feel about you. I tell people all the time that you are honestly God's reflection of his love for me. The fact that I have you as a father just tells me how much God loves me. I want to tell you a little story about a very great family. And that family started, in my mind, when I was born, a long time in Joss. And still have a custodian, the custodian of peace and love in our home, my great mommy the woman who has made me, the woman that I've become today. I tell people that my husband adores me every morning and every day and says, what a wonderful wife I have. And I keep having tears of joy because it's just a reflection of what you have put in me. Growing up, it's going to be a story filled day, so give us two minutes. My sister is saying there's no time for that, but I'll, I will say that. Uh, my mom would say, Ulo, if you want to be a great wife, you must enter the kitchen, you must cook. My dad would tell us, if you want to be a great wife, Uloma, if you want to be a great businesswoman, as my mentor and teacher, he would always say, Ulo, you have to start small. You have to start small. And daddy, your endless teachings have built me into the woman that I've become today and I don't take you for granted. I love you so much. And my promise to you is that I will make sure that the flag of Rocha's foundation keeps flying so high. And without any apologies, without any apologies, we are very proud of the family that we were born into. Daddy, you are a great father. You are a great friend. You are a great mentor. I walk so high as a young lady because I have a father like you. I love you so much. My dad would always say, Adam, sing for me. So I'm going to sing you a song. Am I permitted, Daddy? Do I need backup? Yes, I do. You are the love of my life, the heart and soul of my days by the way i can say that because my husband is not here right now <laughs> you give me room to be free you left me so much to do no one's ever thought me 
like the way you teach me people search through lifetime to have what I have as your daughter you are the love of my life the heart and soul of my days I'll spend the rest of my life just filling your shoes I love you daddy The Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Osibanja. My father, the President of the Roches Foundation, the one that I look up to. My mother, the queen of my heart. <laughs> Daddy, you're the king of my heart too. Well, my husband is actually the king of my heart. but. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, I have to really acknowledge a great man. I don't know ways to describe my father. Um, he tends to think I may love my mom more, but that's not true. I love you both equally. <laughs> and Daddy, your life is really like a broad canvas that I can only paint 100 of the things you've done in your lifetime. From your cradle, to now your current age at 56. You have lived a life as though you are a thousand years old. The lives you have touched, the Roches Foundation Colleges of Nigeria and of Africa, it cannot be compared to the life that people even around you have touched. Daddy, you are a king. You From even cradle, kid, the couldn't help but manifest itself. Daddy, you always tell me that a lion does not give birth to a goat. So by deductive reasoning, then I must be a king as well. Daddy, you are a powerful man. The dark colors in your life cannot even be seen. You know why? Your selfless attitude, your selflessness covers them all. A man that sees charity as the bedrock of his foundation. Daddy, I love you so much. I love you so much. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to sing, but I don't know. Daddy, I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. I'm so tempted to sing. Should I do it? No! <laughs> uh, if I do it, the event will just go south. Your Excellency, the Vice President, I'm probably, out of all my siblings, just know this so that when it's time to pick your favorite, it's easy. Out of all my siblings, I'm probably one of your biggest fans and a big fan of you and your wife. Just that she told me to pray and practice the last time and the voice will come out. I've tried.